I, I do find the you know timing to be somewhat curious. But if they get the right person now, you know, I don't think we're going to be talking about that in a year or two. And ultimately, you know, the face of the franchise are going to be two people. It's going to be Sam Darnold, the quarterback, and Adam Gase at, at, as the head coach. How important is it? I mean, is it unusual to have that much acrimony going on, apparently, between the GM and the coach in the run-up to the draft and through free agency? Well, you know, you do want uh, disagreements. You do want to have, um, you know, discussions. You just don't want to have yes people, um, you know, and then once a decision's made, you got to trust that, uh, you know, all those discussions stay behind closed doors and try to make the best decisions. And when you have disagreements, like, it doesn't benefit anybody for it to get out. So um, I think that's going to be really important moving forward is try to minimize the leaks and, again, have those disagreements, have those discussions, but make, make sure that stays in-house. Now, you know Adam Gase very well, and you know the New York market well. Adam Gase comes out a few days before this all happened and says, you know, he, he thought the reports, his word was quote-unquote crap. It, does Adam Gase, do you have to worry about him having a credibility problem with the media and then the fan base? Because what he said a few days before doesn't really jibe with what happened? Those are tough calls, Jonas. You know, I would struggle with those. And sometimes, you know, the best, best answer is no answer, but you know how it is. If you don't give an answer, you get criticized for that as well. So you try to do the best you can within reason. Um, and in fairness, you know, when the decision was actually made, none of us really know. And, you know, that's obviously going to be made at the ownership level.